You often hear people say that if you watch how a person responds under pressure, you'll truly begin to understand who they are. Well, I think there's some truth in that. But sometimes how you watch a person respond to incredible promises of God is maybe even more revealing about their lives. Now listen to what King David went through. In 1 Chronicles chapter 17, beginning with verse 7. Now go and say to my servant David, this is what the Lord of heaven's armies has declared. I took you from tending sheep in the pasture, and I selected you to be leader of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone, and I have destroyed all your enemies before your eyes. Now I will make your name as famous as anyone who has ever lived on the earth. I will provide a homeland for my people Israel, planting them in a secure place where they will never be disturbed. Evil nations won't oppress them as long as they have done in the past, starting from the time I appointed judges to rule over my people Israel. And I will defeat all your enemies. Furthermore, I declare that the Lord will build a house for you, a dynasty of kings. For when you die and join your ancestors, I will raise up one of your descendants, one of your sons, and I will make his kingdom strong. He is the one who will build a house, a temple for me, and I will secure his throne forever. Now, you look at these incredible promises that God makes to David. I'm going to build a dynasty for you. I'm going to make sure that the people of Israel have a land to live in and they'll, they'll never be disturbed again. I'm going to give you victory in all of your battles. You, you listen to all these beautiful promises. And what did David do after the prophecy of all of these promises? Verse 16. Then David went in. He went to the, the tent where the Ark of the Covenant was. David went in and sat before the Lord and prayed, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is my family that you have brought me thus far? Now, I, I could go through his prayer, and it shows tremendous humility. But I just want you to notice the act of prayer. He went into the presence of God. He went to the, he went to the, the, the tent where he had, that he had built and where the Ark of the Covenant was. He went to the tent. He sat down in the presence of God. He sat and he prayed. Can I ask you a question? When was the last time you looked at one of the beautiful promises of God and you just went into the presence of God, sat down and prayed? Enter in. Sit down and pray. That's what I want to get into your heart today. Enter in, sit down, and pray. What a response to the great and precious promises of God.